Welcome to the Art of Money podcast with Art McPherson. And thanks for checking out the Art of Money podcast. My name is Mark Owens alongside Art McPherson and Luke McCarty. All the information for the McPherson Financial Group, you can find it at theartofmoneyradio.com. We were talking about the experiences that we have of, you know, watching the joy of Christmas through our kids or going to concerts or me and Julie were talking about watching college football. But, you know, millennials, well, they've seen a lot in their lifetime. But there was an article in The New York Times that points out a new experience they're dealing with. Well, that's rapid inflation, something we talk about all the time here on The Art of Money. So millennials are now paying a lot more for things like gasoline, rent, cars, restaurants. However, Luke McCarty, boomers, they know this feeling as they remember the great inflation of the 70s. So when you talk to your clients that are boomers or even some of the younger generation, does that give them the advantage when it comes to controlling their cost and putting together that retirement portfolio? It does. Boomers, like you said, have a memory of when things weren't as easy, as we'll call it, right? Easy from a standpoint of inflation, right? We have some boomers that come to the office and we just talk about inflation and they remember their first mortgage at 10, 12%, right? Well, now that's a credit card. That'd be like putting a two, $300,000 house on a credit card. So thinking of it today from, you know, the most recent 20 years, that seems crazy to think about. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, right? I fit into the millennial category, mm-hmm. right? Born between 1981 to 1996. But because of this profession, right? I get to experience what others have experienced when it comes to the past and, you know, financial crisis and, you know, high interest rates, whereas the younger generation thinks I can just buy things on my phone and stocks yeah. go up forever. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I read a good article over the weekend and it was, you know, it was about basically the, the price of gold. So we get a lot of questions about gold, buying of gold. How do we purchase gold? Should I buy gold? Right. It's on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. And my response to buying gold is, well, gold is the same value today as it was in 2012. Now it did take a big dip, took a big run up last year, but from an inflation fighting perspective, I get a lot of questions about gold from the boomer generation, right? Right. The ones who don't ask me about gold are the younger ones, the millennials, because they're buying cryptocurrencies on their phone, right? During break time, it, it worked. So, <laughs> has, has crypto replaced gold as the new question mark? As the new question mark? I mean, it's replaced gold, I mean, recently as an inflationary hedge, it has done better. Right. Um, you know, we don't trade any of the cryptocurrencies here at the office because they're just so risky. Mm-hmm. Now, you do have the ability to buy into an ETF, an exchange traded fund that is kind of tries to mimic cryptocurrency, but you don't actually own the coins. So the further away you go from the digital currency that you can't touch and feel by way of tracking it by an index, I mean, we're getting far removed from the purpose, right? if that made sense. But that's a big difference too, the gold versus crypto. And then of course, interest rates. And you know, we see a lot of boomers now that are more concerned about rising costs, yeah. right? More concerned about You know, they are more concerned about the stock market because they've seen it where it hasn't just gone up for the last, you know, the stock market's basically gone up since 2009. So for those millennials who got their first job in the 2000s or graduated in the 2000s, right, whatever it may be, they haven't really seen the price of Apple go down, right? They haven't seen, you know, companies like Amazon, you know, I mean, there's just been some great innovative companies that the younger generation doesn't have the full perspective of risk right now. And something that I think that, you know, I think Art is dealing with over the past week is that's medical bills. And, you know, he's doing well, which is great. But if we have a, you know, hospital stay, no matter how long it is, those bills can be shocking. And I want you to hear this story. Uh, Her name is Taylor Davis. She's out of Atlanta. She recently showed up in an emergency room, which is a very minor head injury. Well, she waited for seven hours. No one came to see her. So she got fed up and she left. A few weeks later, she received a bill for almost $700. Needless to say, she was a little surprised by it all. What do you mean I have a bill for that day? I didn't do anything. I was really just shocked. I didn't get my vitals taken. Nobody called my name. I wasn't seen at all. I just came, sat in a chair for seven hours and left. It's hospital protocol. Even if you're just walking in and you're seen, I mean, you're not seen. When you type in your social that's it. <laughs> Seeing that they're able to bill you for random things, honestly, it doesn't make me want to go when I get injured. And that, that's not good. You think? <laughs> you don't even <laughs> get seen. And 
you get a bill for seven. She was not prepared for that. So it's a crazy story. But, Luke, it had me thinking about 401ks. Again, going back to something that we all deal with and the fees and 401ks plans that can come back to surprise us. So how do you go about helping clients find those fees and, more importantly, help us, I don't know, not remove but just reduce some of them? Yeah, so people think the 401k is free. Your employer actually pays for some of the fees, some of the custodial fees, but then you have your underlying asset fees within the plan. Sometimes your 401k charges you an outright fee. You know, if you have a 401k through, say, Fidelity or a big institution, you can actually pay them to kind of have like a robo advisor for you to pay another fee. So what we see when people come into McPherson Financial Group is they don't think they're paying any fee. Well, you are, right? Nothing is free in this world. So we dive into the details and we run an analysis that show you your average cost of your 401k plan can be anywhere between one to 2%. Mm -hmm. So some of that's not all going to you as the plan participant, but you know, if your employer is covering a half a percent, well now you could be paying, you know, one to one and a half percent of fees. And the bad part about our industry is, and is that a lot of the fees are not upfront. Our fees here at McPherson Financial Group are up front because we are fiduciaries. So if there's any fee on anything we are recommending, you know about it. Whereas your 401k, there are fees that you just don't see. And I think that's a problem in our industry. Thanks for listening. Want more from Art McPherson of McPherson Financial Group? Find us online at artofmoneyradio.com. We are an independent financial services firm helping individuals create retirement strategies using a variety of financial and insurance products to custom suit their needs and objectives. Securities offered through World Equity Group, Inc., member FINRA and SIPC, a registered investment advisor. Investment advisory services offered through ProStatus Group, LLC. McPherson Financial Group and ProStatus Group, LLC are separate entities and are not owned or controlled by World Equity Group, Inc. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Investment financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. Art McPherson is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Please consult with your attorney, accountant, and or tax advisor for advice concerning your particular circumstances. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Arthur McPherson. Florida Insurance License Number A1 74725. Today's show has been a work of art. 